guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, papi. Pablo is very playful at the moment, but playful for him is just like, I want to bite in your hands. So, <laughs> don't do that! So, today's video is going to be a little... Uh, different I guess because I was actually planning on filming a video all about my tattoos and show you guys like the tattoos I have on my body and everything because I thought it's cool I thought it's been a while since I made one and I got a few new tattoos so I'm gonna show you guys but then I found out that um, I actually filmed one of those videos six months ago <laughs> and I only got one tattoo after that video so I thought it would be kind of like boring to show you guys my tattoos again because you can literally just watch that other video Pablo he's now trying to eat the lights Pablo I love you but you can be very annoying so I asked you guys on Instagram what video you want to see because you know my tattoo video wasn't gonna happen anymore and so many of you actually said just make the tattoo video because we want to see it so i'm just gonna make this video anyways but i thought i'm just gonna show you guys my new tattoo and not my old tattoos because like i said you can just go to the other video so if you're interested in seeing me ramble for a very long time and then show my tattoo for one second then please keep on watching so this is just going to be a very talkative video so if you don't like to hear me talk then I would highly suggest you go to another video because literally on all the videos I post I get so many comments of people saying video starts at <laughs> because nobody wants to hear me talk so <laughs> so I'm just warning you in advance I'm gonna talk a lot in this video <laughs> but yeah um, I got a new tattoo I have a few already my arm is like well, not filled. I have a few on my arm, I have one on my stomach, I have two on my legs. I really love tattoos and I wish it was already like covered in tattoos entirely, but <laughs> shit's very expensive. <laughs> like, if it was cheaper, then I would have a lot more tattoos right now, but they are pretty expensive. Uh, I only got like a few and it's already cost me, I think, over 2000 euros, so <laughs> that's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't have all that money. <laughs> So, the new tattoo that I got, I got it from, this is actually the first time I've been tattooed by a girl, which I thought was pretty cool. And the girl who tattooed me, her name is, I got it on my phone, Helen Popnikova? Popnikova? I'm not sure you pronounce it, but she's from Ukraine. And I've been following her for a while because she makes like the coolest stuff ever. I don't know what it is, but she has like very random stuff and I really like her style. Um, so I really want to get a tattoo from her, but of course she lives in the Ukraine, so... I'm not really gonna go all the way to Ukraine for <laughs> one tattoo but luckily she went to Amsterdam for a few days so I immediately <laughs> booked an appointment at her so excited drove all the way to Amsterdam <laughs> this is such a sad story but I drove all the way to Amsterdam <laughs> which took me over an hour and then literally when I drove into Amsterdam I got a DM saying that my appointment was cancelled <laughs> Because they didn't have any electricity. They had like a power outage. So of course you can't tattoo without electricity. <laughs> so I had to drive all the way back without a tattoo. <laughs> it was so sad. I mean, she couldn't do anything about it, of course. Like it wasn't her fault. I'm not blaming her in any way, um, but it just really sucked. So then I went back the next day and luckily the power was back on. So then I got my tattoo. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna get yet because uh, I didn't pick out a design or anything I didn't tell her what I wanted because I just really like her way of thinking. I really like her designs So I thought there's no way that I can come up with something that's cooler than that she makes So I just said to her like I'm gonna come to you and then I'm gonna pick one out and then you can put it on my body so <laughs> I had no idea what to do I was gonna get when I came there. I mean, that's actually something I've been doing more recently. Just pick out flash work from artists. Because I just kind of like... I don't know, for me, tattoos are just like a form of art. I don't have tattoos with a special meaning. Um, yeah, I have one Arctic Monkeys tattoo that has a special meaning. And I have one tattoo of my reds. Which, of course, has a... I can never show this tattoo. Okay, there. Uh, which of course is special meaning, but everything else, I just want something that looks pretty. I just want like their artwork on my body. So for me, what I kind of like best is to just pick something out that they made themselves because it just really shows 
how they are, like how they work, what they like. Because whenever I get a tattoo, I pick out the artist first and then my design because I really care about the artist, if you know what I mean. So this time I said, you know, I'm just gonna pick out something when I'm there. So the tattoo that I got is on my naked arm, which isn't naked anymore, and it is. Probably my favorite tattoo that I have right now because it's just so funny. It is very random, I think, but it's super cute. <laughs> and it is. Da, 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 da. Ooh. I don't think you can really see it. Um, it looks pretty crusty right now because it is healing, and I also put some like lotion on it, so it looks very shiny as well, probably. But let me show you guys what it is. Just look at this! Oh my god! Isn't that like the cutest tattoo you've ever seen in your entire life? <laughs> so yeah, it's a little devil and a little skeleton sitting at a table looking at their phones. <laughs> Basically just like a visual representation of me. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I think it's so funny, it's so cute. I love how it's like very thin but also very massive black, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is my new tattoo, I absolutely love it, I think it's so cute. The girl who tattooed me, she didn't really speak English very well, um, so I didn't really talk to her, but she was very sweet. Even though we didn't really speak a lot, <laughs> but she was, she was a very sweet person, so I definitely recommend going to her because not only does she make super cool tattoos, she's also a very sweet person. So definitely recommend, I love this so much. Pain-wise, because I know a lot of people always want to know how much it hurts and stuff, uh, this didn't hurt at all, honestly. Um, I would give it a 1 out of 10 or maybe a 2 out of 10, but tattoos on my arms, they don't hurt. For me at least. I don't, I don't think tattoos hurt that much. Uh, the one on my stomach was excruciating. <laughs> that was very painful, but like on my arms, I don't care. It was just like a scratchy feeling, but I like the scratchy feeling, so... <laughs> For me, it isn't very painful, but you know, it might be different for you. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is my new tattoo and I love it. Oh, <laughs> love it so much. Um, sorry I didn't get any footage of me like getting a tattoo that I didn't make a vlog out of it or something, but... <laughs> I find vlogging to be so incredibly awkward. Oh my god. Literally, every time I go get a new tattoo, I always bring my camera and I just never take it out of my bag because I'm just like... It's gonna be very awkward if I start filming here. Like, I don't know, I just don't like filming in public. It feels weird to me. So, since I always bring my camera and never film it, I just didn't bring it this time. But now looking back at it, I'm like, oh, I would have really loved to get a little bit of footage of it, you know? But I don't, because vlogging is... I don't, I don't know how people are able to do that in public. It feels weird. So, yeah guys, this is my new tattoo. So yeah, um, I don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> this is such a boring video, I'm sorry, but I just gonna, I just want to show you guys my tattoo because I love it. And also you guys wanted me to show it, so I hope you like it anyways. I would have loved to show a little bit more of Pablo, but like I said, he's very annoying right now. So I can't really do anything with him because he's gonna scratch my new tattoo up and that's not what I want. So hopefully he will make an appearance in the next video. And hopefully my next video will be a little bit more interesting, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I really want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you like my new tattoo. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, I leave the Instagram of the two artists in the description box down below. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> and I really want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!